A Harrisburg City Council candidate faced a legal challenge today because of his criminal history. And as Fox 43's Harry Lee explains, Lamont Jones' trial weighed a former offender's right to run for office and the intricacies of local politics. Supporters of Lamont Jones cheered after a judge ruled he will stay on the ballot for Harrisburg City Council this November. I feel empowered. At this point in time, the voices of 1,770 voters and beyond are validated today. Jones, a longtime criminal justice reform advocate, has spoken publicly about his past convictions for drug possession and making false statements dating from 1997 to 2005. He won the Democratic nomination in May. But in July, two Democratic voters filed a lawsuit against Lamont, saying his past convictions disqualify him for office. At the surface, it's about can a man atone and do work and pour back into his community. In court, Jones's lawyer argued the case was moot because Jones has already applied to receive pardons that, if granted, would take effect before he was sworn into office. But Jones says his past wasn't the real issue on trial. He believes longtime local political figures were really behind the law. Suit. We have a, a certain climate, a political climate in the city of Harrisburg um, that continues to happen. Um, and people hide behind uh, plaintiffs like uh, uh, Catherine Knapp or, or Sharon Roy and uh, try to disrupt our electoral process. And um, today the people actually spoke and the courts made uh, the right decision. Jones says if elected, he would continue to shake up local politics. I obviously pose a threat to the status quo. After the ruling, the plaintiff's lawyer, Marco Adesano, wrote in a statement, this case is about ensuring voters' rights to a free and fair election and that voters have the ability to vote for a candidate who is eligible to serve in the office they are seeking. We're leaving all options open and will seriously review a possible appeal. Harry Lee, Fox 43 News.